gonna mug me. I'm not gonna mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Peace and Marathon. Download Veely now. Every parent thinks their child is beautiful, but there's a new wave of parent going to any length to prove it. Made popular by the gypsy community, the phenomenon of blinging up the kids has now well and truly entered the mainstream. It's gone crazy, hasn't it, the bling? It's a big following. How much bling in you want, Tony? Lots of bling. Ordinary mums are splashing the cash to kit out their kids in top-to-toe glamour, just like celebrity mini-me's. Hi. And with the children's wear market now worth £5 billion a year, it's big business. Yeah, obviously I spent double here. Crystal encrusted clothes. Once you've got into blinging, you cannot go back. It's, it's addictive. It's very, very addictive. Glitzy makeup. They're going nice with me. Tots having tans. Show your mum your tan line. Wow. wow. And the biggest dresses money can buy. I love it bigger the better. But blinging up your babies can come at a price. There has been so much nastiness. People have been chucking eggs at a window. But how far is too far? Are you ready for your makeup? No! Essex, capital of fake tans, flash clothes, and bling. No different for student and single mum Sophie Mae Dixon and her daughter's four-year-old Princess Bliss Tiana May and one-year-old Precious Belle Ruby Rosina. You look like little Thumbelina. Pretty. From the comfort of the Princess Palace, Sophie Mae loves dressing her children glamorously. Bling means, I think, like, sparkly, Princess stuff, you know, crystallised shoes, gold hoops. They wear every single day, my girls, because I think it looks nice and I think that's what little girls should have in their ears. Otherwise, you can get mistaken for a boy. It's not just the outfits. Sophie May's kids are blinged up right down to the very last detail. You ain't got your hair on? Yeah, OK. Should we put your hair on? Right, here you go. Princess has been into hair pieces and hair extensions since she was about two. Like, I've, I haven't got mine in at the moment, but I've always had them in and she's always just put, like, been into it. She's always been, like, a really glamorous baby. She's always liked makeup and hair. Do you like it, Prince? Show me. Lovely. For Sophie May, it's about her kids standing out from the crowd. They are individual, and I like to be an individual rather than a sheep. I don't know the amount, exact amount of everything that I've paid for, but I just know I've spent a lot of money. If I couldn't afford it, but they needed it, I'd walk around in a black bean bag if I had to. And Princess is as proud of the way she looks as Mum Sophie May. What one's your favourite one, Princess? Um, I think my favourite one is all of them. All of them? Mm-hmm. Do you love it? My girls, I would say, are like the little Barbie babies. If Barbie was real, that they would be her children. That is what her children would look like. Sophie May's obsession with blinging up her daughter started from the moment she gave birth. When Princess was, like, born, I had a lot of jewellery made for her, like... I spent a lot of money on it. It was, like, all gold and, like, heavy. I had um, a big gold name chain made for her. It said, like, Princess Bliss on it, her name chain. She had loads of different gold hoops, all solid gold. People always used to say, Oh, yeah, you've got the baby, the one that's dripping in gold and things like that. <laughs> For Princess and Precious, everyday dressing is a diamante studded occasion. Hi. Another one. Most people would think she's quite diva. A princess, since she was one year old, when I put, put a camera out to her face, she, she did power. Not long after that, 
it was the poses that come with it. And my friends say she is a mini me. She's like a little baby celebrity. That is what she is like. She is just a little shrunken celebrity. And another one. <laughs> Yay! In Birkenhead near Liverpool, one person witnessing firsthand the huge demand to bling up the kids is dressmaker Marie Fullerton. Hayley, will you thread this invisible thread again? She's been making bespoke children's wear for 25 years, but has never been as busy as she is today. It's gone crazy, hasn't it, the bling? It's a big following, a very, very, very big following. The young mums today, they want their little girl as best as she can be from head to toe, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the cost is, really, to them. You know, you just get more into it, and you start adding more frills, and the more frills, the better. Then you start adding more diamonds, the more diamonds, the better. The bigger the headbands, the better. The socks, frilly knickers. If it's to do with the baby, they want it blinged and as frilly as can be. And, and there's a, a lot of people out there who, who adore it. <laughs> So if you join them, so we'll get me a white them. edge, super fine on the edge of that, and I'll get the ballet net ready. Helping her out are son Robert Lee, daughter Hayley, and daughter-in-law Beth. A lot more people want bling this day, and literally, we had a woman message us the other day asking us to bling. She bought a silver cross pram, and she wanted us to bling the actual whole frame in Chorovsky crystals and everybody knows how much they cost. And she wanted the whole thing doing in crystals. It's, it's madness. Like, people want the bathtubs, you know, the baby tubs, over, because Beyonce got it, did, didn't she? And as well, the Kardashians, they're massive with the bling. And obviously, people want to follow, don't they? So it's, it's, it's very big, the bling now, very big. Once you've got into blinging, you cannot go back. I bling my phone cases, yeah. um, my makeup bag, everything. You know, when you're sitting there blinging, like kids using that, and you need a little second to just, you know. You'll just start blinging. You'll start something. blinging anything. Yeah, you're like, oh, something yours. Start, just start doing your own shoe. Yeah. Or <laughs> put my phone case just randomly blinging away. Everything. You'd be, honestly, you become obsessed with it. It's, it's addictive. It's very, very addictive. I, I'd bling the walls if I could. I literally would bling my walls. I would. Due to overwhelming demand, Marie's expanding her online boutique and opening a shop on the high street in three weeks' time. I named it Fairy Tale because that was my dream then. It was like, no, you know, I do, I want a shop and I want it sparkling and I want it to be like a little, a little fairy tale for a little girl to be walking in. It is a little girl's fairy tale, a little girl's dream. Oh, don't we all have that? Even no matter how old we are, we still have a little fairy tale dream, don't we? Every woman. Coming up, one tot enjoys a spray tan. Well done, look how brand you are! And turning your child into a diva can come at a price. Bitch! <gasps> right, stop that now, please. Shut up. It's never too young to start blinging up your baby. Come here, baby, little girl. <laughs> 26-year-old beautician Sammy Bushell started buying big dresses before one-year-old Hallie Mae was even born. As soon as I knew it was a girl, everyone said to me, it's going to just be massive frills, isn't it? I said, yeah. <laughs> I think every woman thinks of their daughter as a doll. No matter how you dress them, you dress them in just nice little pretty dresses from the next or the Asda's. I don't think that's a bad thing, but every woman thinks her little girl is a doll. Sammy buys her little doll clothes months in advance by combing specialist boutiques online. There's your crystals, you've just got your socks, you've got your pants, you've got your tights, you've got your, your dresses, your cardies, your coats, your hats your bits of fluff to fluff things up. It's just a continuous expense. You'd never know how much you spend. So this is a Christian dress. Um, it was handmade. It's very heavy. The material is encrusted in crystals. So the crystals are already on it um, and they're on the bows. She doesn't like getting dressed. 
Despite limited cash, Hallie May's wardrobe is worth thousands. The christening gown cost £170, but Hallie May seems to prefer her shoes. <laughs> and also, it did include the bonnet, which was extra. So, I'll see if I can get it on. I love it bigger the better. On the day of a christening, the priest says, if I can find the baby, I will christen her. <laughs> because it was that big. Sammy loves her baby to sparkle. I started bling in as soon as I found out I was having a little girl, which was about 14 weeks pregnant. I started buying like swash crystals, all the little coats and the headband to bling up. This is like my bling in tray that I have with all my little crystals in and a few Soroshki ones left from when I've been doing them. They're the clear ones. These are a few dummies that I've done myself with the Soroshki crystals as well. Very blingy. Um, and this was her newborn one when she was tiny. That was the first one I did for her. It was absolutely stunning. I love, I love it. I love all the bling over the top, definitely. Do you want to get your crowns out, darling? Uh, yeah. Fellow single mum, 33-year-old Leanne Dix, blings up her babies on a more competitive level. That one was my favourite one. For the last two years, unemployed Leanne has ploughed everything into Bessie Sue, six, and four-year-old Scarlett, entering Britain's blingiest new phenomenon, US-style child beauty pageants. So that's my favourite one. Because I'm fantastic on the stage. They are very talented little girls, and I have invested a lot in them. The girls compete in glitz-style pageants, where they're judged on their glamorous poses, dazzling costumes, full makeup, and fake tan. This is my favourite one, um, Mini Miss Beauty. How do I know? Like that. Miss Portsmouth Sparkle, 2013. I'm very good at pageants because I love it. I yeah. do it for mummy. You do it for mummy. You want to be Miss World one day? Yeah. But we do our best in everything we do, don't we? We do our best and we look our best. Yeah? In two weeks' time, both girls will be entering the Teeny Miss Glitz pageant. But hopes for the ultimate prize are pinned on Bessie's sister, Scarlett. Everyone that enters a pageant wants the ultimate supreme. We haven't achieved that as of yet, but obviously that's what we're in it for. And I think one day, potentially, Scarlett would definitely have that ability. She's a little star. Mummy, why is gold so special on medal? Means you're a winner. How? Well, if, you're, if you come second, you're a first loser. Oh. Intent on not losing, Leanne's training her baby beauty queens. What are you doing, Scarlett? OK, Mummy do it for you. No! Right, today we're going to do a photo shoot. We're doing quite often. This was our most recent one we did, which was a Halloween theme. In this one, we got to colour the girls' hair. Bessie had purple. Scarlett had... Red. Pink. But it, no. It was red, but it went kind of pink, didn't it? Do you want to go and have your photograph done? No. Bessie Sue is a pampered princess and she will ask to have her nails done. She will go to a nail bar and sit there and have it done. Scarlett's a bit of a bigger character. Are you ready for your makeup? No! And she probably would be a tomboy if I let her, but I won't. Growing up myself, personally, I was a tomboy, believe it or not. One time, my mum begged me to put a dress on and I ripped it straight away on a skateboard. Uh, so growing up, I wasn't a girly girl. But I always knew if I had girls, they would be girly girls. And I suppose that's what I'm influencing on to them, is that they don't do think that I did wrong growing up. Leanne's chosen a nautical outfit for today's photo shoot. But things aren't always plain sailing when you're dealing with a four-year-old. That was my one when I had my Rock and Robin. No, that wasn't your one when you had Rock and Robin, was it? Yeah. I mean, you danced to Rock and Robin, you had a different outfit. No! It really wasn't that one. It was. Do I go raw? No, you're a liar. Right, stop that now, please. <laughs> Shut up. Bitch. <sighs> it's 
Scarlett, go to your bedroom, please. Go and think about what you've just said to me, and then come back and say sorry when you thought about it. Right, get to your bedroom now. Go on. Calm down and then come out. Dealing with your own mini diva has its downsides. On a pageant day, if we have this sort of behaviour, then I just... Well, it's all for them, isn't it? So I just have to be patient. So what do you want me to do? Do you want me to take your hair out or do you want me to just wrap it up so then you can just wrap it, up. wrap it up? When it comes to blinging up your kids, it seems pampering is just as important as clothes and accessories. Sophie May and four-year-old Princess Bliss are getting ready for one of their regular beauty treatments. We get spray tans, just like sometimes at parties, just if we're in, indoors and it's a rainy day, you know, just when the sun's not out and we're feeling just a little bit pale and stuff. So she's grown up with it, so she, just, she said, oh, can I have it? And at first I was a bit like, then I thought, why not let her do it? She, and she just loves it. Hello. Hi. You right? Yeah. Aww. What shade would you want, so? Oh, I want to go a bit darker, so, because I'm so pale. And what about Prin? I don't know, Prin, what did you sort of want to look? Black, you. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell Sophie to do me, Brown, No. 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 I'm going to do Oh, do you love having spray tans? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. What's so much? Yeah! <laughs> so I usually spray tan like teenagers, young people, the age range has, it does vary but it's, it's gone down a lot, you know, there is a lot of youngsters that do want to be like their mums and who do want to be tanned. Spray tans don't come cheap, but luckily for Sophie it's her best friend who's doing it. Just because somebody's on benefits doesn't mean that they can't look glamorous, can't mean that they can't have any treatments and pamper themselves. You ready? Yay! Right, it's going to take a deep breath. One, two, three. Three pat. Well done. Oh, and again. Put your arms up for me. Well done. Look how brave you are. Let's bring you back to life. Now, do you want to step out of the tent for me, please, darling? And shall we show your mama your tan line? <laughs> wow. Wow, that's good. It's so bright. It's really dark. It seems Princess Bliss isn't the only top wanting a tan. According to a recent High Street survey, it's celebrities that are fueling a huge surge in primary school fake tanning. Esther, Towie and Autumn, Ryle and Clarks, and they go on the programmes that children can watch. You know, you've got those in Big Brother, X Factor, and they're the programmes that the young children can watch, and they want to look like them. They want to be brown like them. They want to have the big eyelashes and the big hair. I get people that message me asking, can I give them a spray tan to make them look like the girls off The Only Way is Essex, you know, the, the, the girls off the telly, girls in the music videos. They want to be like them. She is a little Essex Barbie baby. Mm, kiss, kiss. Mm. Aww. Aww. Leanne's got her pageant princesses made up for today's photo shoot. We do live in a two-bed flat. We are limited for where we live, so I do push them out there and get them doing all activities. Look at the police boat. Everyone's in full pageant training mode, and in spite of the cold winter weather, they're heading out to perfect their poses with friend Wayne. Who's a princess? Yes, you are. What are you going to do at the next dance festival? I'm going to cheer it up. Yeah, you are. Show me poses. Absolutely gorgeous, Scarlett. You're a superstar. How about sexy girl? Sexy girl. He loves posing for the picture. We went to a, a well-known model agency and she really, really worked the camera. So much so she had to get told to stop. OK, one more picture on the cannon. No. Please. No. Please! I am ambitious for them and I do push them. So people will look down at me and will be negative at what I do for them. I am a perfectionist and I would stay out here till we had to go home. But um, 
look, they are getting tired now, so we will go home. But yeah, I'll probably be back out here now in the same costumes on a much nicer day, doing it all again. <laughs> <laughs> Mini diva Princess Bliss is getting ready for a fourth birthday party tomorrow with some more serious pampering with Mum Sophie May. She would have her nails done, her hair done and her tan done all day long. Princess was a baby baby when she first like, ever got her nails done. She was about nine months old when she first got her toenails painted. When she was in her big pram in the summer with her little pink painted toenails out, everyone used to go, oh, look at her toenails. It looks really cute. Like, she was like the youngest customer. That's so nice. You going out this weekend, princess? Yeah, to a party. It's a thing that we do. We come here together, we enjoy it. Her coming to the nail shop is like, her going to the park. Oh, They're finished now, you like it? Yeah. I really love them, thank you. It's like mother, like daughter for Sophie May and her girls. We've got matching Juicy Couture tracksuits, we've got matching Ugg boots, we've got matching Converse's in all colours, we've got matching hair pieces, we've got matching Ralph Lauren jumpers, we've got matching Ralph Lauren tops, we've got loads of matching stuff. For Sophie May, the dressing up obsession has always been there. I played with dolls till I was in senior school. Like, I just, I've always wanted to be a mum and I've always wanted two daughters. Like, I suppose it's like having your own little dolls, but I don't know, dolls ain't as fun. You can't, you, dolls ain't, you can't become your best mate, can they? The girls will need to make an impression with the judges if they want to win the pageant. So Mum Leanne has come up with an outrageous plan she hopes will blow away the competition. I usually come up with the what outfits I want and I usually like the outfits to be quite blinged. My latest outfit's for Scarlett and I'm working on a Hooters outfit for her so we'll put together a nice little routine. But this is a good picture because it shows you the uniform that they wear. So I've not been to Hooters bar but I know they're popular in America and it was just something that I thought of, um, it was an easy costume to make. And then what I've done is, because it's also got to be sparkly and blinged up, you can't just put them in a t-shirt. So I've got a little, nice little leotard, which I'm in the process of putting diamonds around the little strap there. You do try and, and be original. So something that you've not, hopefully, not seen before. Some people might say it's controversial, especially the theme that I've chosen, but at the end of the day, little girls wear swimming costumes to the beach every all summer, um, and that's not a controlled environment. The, the environment my kids go in is a controlled environment, and it is ticket entry only. So if anyone's got thinks it's controversial, then please explain, because it ain't at all. Coming up, are Leanne's dreams of a title win in tatters? <laughs> And there's tears before bedtime. It's just not nice for people to say it about your children. In Birkenhead near Liverpool, Marie Fullerton is preparing for the opening of her Blinged Up Kids High Street boutique in a week's time. Hey, Becky! But before then, she's welcoming a few select visitors. She a good girl, Ruby. Yeah, 17 inch. How many petticoats is she having? Or do you want this, the big dress? Big, big one. Big, big as you big. can. Big one. Big. And we can put big bows on yeah. the sides of the sleeves, put a bit of bling on the bows. Big puffy, isn't it? How much bling do you want on it? As much as you Lots can. Lots of bling. Marie may give her dresses a modern twist with diamantes, but she believes the phenomenon harks back to the 19th century. This goes back to the Victorian dresses when they wore their, their frilly bonnets and some of the, the outfits they wore were absolutely stunning. And now today, the young girls have come along still working on the same styles, but with a new modern twist. We add bling to everything. It's my little bit of making my mum's dresses a bit more modern. You know, everybody loves the bling nowadays. We've even done this potty, like a little boy's prince potty. So, yeah. So that's tickety-boo. It's an expensive hobby, but 
it's worth every penny because she looks spectacular and everything. The more colourful ones are a bit more seen to people, especially in a pram, that stops them and makes them look at them more. Uh. Mum Becky hopes that dressing baby Ruby in Marie's eye-catching outfits will help get her noticed and eventually lead her to stardom. We applied for her to go to Kids and Co model and she got accepted. She went for the photo shoot, so we're just now waiting for work, basically, for her. So hopefully she could be on the telly, magazines, got the work. Beautician Sammy Bushell likes one-year-old Hallie Mae to look perfect from head to toe. We just do a nice pale colour early. Um, I don't do it on a net on the hands either. And with a dark colour, if you get it on the skin, you can't get it off. I'd love Hallie to be gaily when she's older. You know, but if she, she likes the trackies and the football, then what will be will be. But I will try my best to keep her gaily. <laughs> That's probably why I do so much of it now. You know, so in case she does, when she's, if she's older, she does like boy stuff. At least I can say, well, I did the gaily bits when she was baby. So I never feel like I've ever lost out on it. When it comes to Hallie Mae's wardrobe, Sam is very selective. You can't just go to any normal shop. You couldn't go to Next or TK Maxx or the other shops, the high street shops, and just go and pick out one of these dresses because they're handmade. There is a big community on Facebook that do these types of dresses. One of Sammy's favourite online stores is Marie's Fairy Tale Boutique. In one week, she's heading to the opening in Birkenhead and she's just spotted a must-have. This is the Gone in the Wind dress, where it ruffles at the bum. So when they're walking, it's really, it's really unique and it really does stand out. If I get five minutes spare when the kids are eating the tea, I'll quickly jump on my phone and I'll just have a scroll down my news feed. Don't get me wrong, I'm not obsessed with buying clothes to the children. Um, I just think sometimes if it's there and you like it, just to buy it. To afford £100 outfits on a small income, Sammy has a payment plan in place at a number of local boutiques. This is a dress that I'm on about putting some money aside for. And every week I'll come in and pay a bit on it. I do work part time, but I don't have the finances just to go out and buy them outright. As soon as I see a dress, I can't just say, oh, I'll have that and just walk away with it the same day. Um, unless it's payday, of course. <laughs> Did you want? Did you want to leave anything? Or what? I'll put ten on it. Okay. I might put the eleven actually. See okay. what change I've got. All right. <laughs> yeah, I will do. I'll put eleven since okay. I've got. I'm gonna actually forty them, won't it? They're a little bit more expensive than your department stores, so they can't always afford you know, just to pay it outright. So we always take a deposit because they know that we only have one of each size. So if they don't lay it away, the size could go and then they're not going to be missed out. Bye. Bye, Bye, Bye love. Have a nice day. And you. The big day has finally arrived for determined Leanne Dix and her daughters, Bessie Sue and Scarlett. What colour do you want, pink or red? But to win, they'll need to beat an array of competitors who've travelled from across the UK. It's tough competition today because the amount of contestants and everyone's just getting so much better at routines. They're going actually next year, right? Leanne's pinning her hopes on Scarlet and her Hooters costume taking the grand title, but she'll need to perform in a number of rounds. We're looking at um, the appearance, the makeup, the clothing, the way they hold themselves on stage. Just looking for well-made outfits, well put together. I think adding all the bling and the glitz and the glamour onto the outfits really, you know, it makes the kids happy and it shows people are really involved in what they're doing. The more bling, the more you're going to win. The bigger crown, that's what we want. We don't want crowns this big, we want that big. <laughs> Leanne's kept the cost of the pageant to a minimum, reusing old costumes and spending just £50 on Scarlett's new Hooters outfit. Small fry compared to some of the other parents. 
Um, one of these dresses is two and a half thousand each, and we have four of these. Um, I have two jobs. <laughs> Without the dress, about six hundred. With the dress, um, twelve hundred. 1300, something like that. The first round is beauty, where the most glamorous gowns are paraded. After hours of behind the scenes preening, we have Miss Bessie. Bessie takes the stage. That was really good. I didn't even have to show her that much, I just cheered her on mainly. But you, you're always good at catwalk style, aren't you? After some last-minute practice, it's Scarlett's turn. But as her competitors go on stage, Scarlett's got a problem. Oh, I to be at the front of the no, that's fine. You can't be at the front. You're the best for last. Yeah? Oh. She wants to go first. Go on, Scarlett. Oh my God. That's right. Go on. Chance. Are you going to do the pageant? Yes or no? No. I'm scared. Leanne takes Scarlett off to calm down. But with a no show, any dreams of a big win could be over. In Essex, Sophie May is talking with friends about blinging up her daughters. Here we are. Take that out while you're eating. That's it. Since Princess was born, like, Obviously, her name stands out, and the jewellery, and I had the big white leather pram with all pram lining made with she like, all, like frills, massive with charms, all... and yeah. from her pram with all like Swarovski crystals all over them. That was absolutely beautiful. While yeah. Sophie sees nothing wrong with it, she's in no doubt there are others who disagree. There has been so much nastiness. People would like just comment, nasty, malicious comments, and then. Obviously, onto the social networking, it all went onto that. The things they used to write was terrible, like, it's really horrible. People have said, like, they want to put her into a blender and call in just a sick, absolutely repulsive. When people are saying that, it does stick with you, it does stay with you, because you just think, how can someone say that about a harmless little baby? And her friends have witnessed the toll it's taken. There's been times Sophie's phoned me up, she's been in tears, there's people been chucking eggs at her window. Someone's been ripped out the top of her hair extension, you put it on top of her head. Someone's ripped one of them out of her hair when she's been out in nightclub. She, she gets quite a lot yeah. of stick. There's only so much one person can take. It's just not nice for people to say it about your children. <laughs> so don't cry, because you've got to think, look at everything now, and now everything's turned out. Don't make your tongue run. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff out again. <laughs> it's just no, it's it's not nice. But you've got to smile and you've got to just think like you're you've bettered yourself. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And you've come off on top while they're still talking. Mm. Look at your life now. Like, and look how you've I turned everything years, around. I used to react to it all, and it just used to be like I was very angry about it, very fiery about it. But now that I've sort of grown up, it's just like you let it go over. I let it go over my head now, but. I don't know, it was just a lot of tall men, a lot of... It was horrible. Yeah, they, it was kind of like Sophie was famous. That's the way they treated you, didn't they, Sophie? Like, you was famous and... It is sick and... Oh, my hands up, they are unique. That You would never get another princess, you'd never get another precious. They've got their own identity, but what's the big deal? It's, it's 2014. Princess? Come on, we've got Rebecca's party today. Fortunately, Sophie Mays not let other people's opinions stop her dressing Princess and Precious the way she wants. Come on, drink your earpiece in. It's enough to get fashion forward Princess out of bed and into her beloved tutu. Good girl. Oh, look at you. For this mini adult, getting ready for the party is as much fun as the party itself. Princess loves getting ready for parties or just general dress up. She absolutely loves it. 
She loves having her earpiece fitted in. She loves all of her makeup. And far from being disapproving, Mum Sophie is proud of Princess's unusual expertise. For four years old, she knows every bit of makeup on every part of her face. She knows where eyebrows are drawn on, she knows where eye mascara goes, she knows where blusher goes, she knows where lipstick goes. She knows where everything goes. Oh, God. Come here. Four-year-old Princess is in need of a bit more practice, though. Yeah, let me just quickly do it, cos we've got to go in a sec. Isn't she good, though? Do you want a bit of eyebrows on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're up, though. She's now ready for school friend Rebecca's fourth birthday party. And Princess has bought her a very special present. OK, happy birthday. Happy birthday. What'd you say? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to open your present? Yes. I love to. I'll wear that on. You want to put it on? Oh. I knew she would. It's very Rebecca. <laughs> There we go. What did you say to Princess? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Princess, you look like Miley Cyrus on a wrecking ball. Oh. I like me like Miley Cyrus. Sophie might be used to negative reactions, but it still leaves her feeling uncomfortable. You do get looks, you do get looks like, oh, that little girl's got a hairpiece in, and you do get people turning their backs, talking with their hands over their mouth, and you know that they're talking about you, but you can see, is it harming her? Is it stopping her from having fun in any way? No, it's not. She's having fun and she looks nice. <laughs> Coming up, who will win the ultimate Grand Supreme title? Quick, cos we've got to get going now, if you want to do it. <laughs> And what happens when Marie's big dream becomes a reality? Look at you, the like princess. Oh. At the teeny Miss Beauty pageant in Portsmouth, mums are busy blinging up their kids. Not too tight, is it? With makeup, hair pieces, and dazzling costumes. They all hope to win the ultimate Grand Supreme Crown. But so far, things haven't gone to plan for Leanne and daughter Scarlett. Quick, cos we've got to get going now, if you want to do it. Scarlett's uh, refusing to do it today. Um, I'm not going to force her. Um, it's completely out of character. But if she don't want to do it, she don't want to do it. I am disappointed. Leanne's pinned her hopes on Scarlett winning the title, but after failing to take the stage in the beauty round, she needs a big performance. A few moments later, Leanne tries again, and Scarlett finally gets over her stage fright. Next, we have contestant number 25, Miss Scarlett. She's up there, she got more into it, but she is definitely not performing today. <laughs> Are you? Are you going to do your um, Hooters one next? Yeah. yeah. And where, how's that start? Yeah, she, she was laughing at me in the other room. It's, she's just a diva. Leanne is now hoping that her Hooters costume will wow the judges and put Scarlett in with a chance of winning the grand title. The competition is tough today. But we'll see how she does. I mean, she's had a bit of an off day, so... Although Leanne's chuffed, there's mixed reactions about the controversial choice of outfit. I think the Hooters is a bit inappropriate for a small child. Leanne's gone down a different route today and it's been like, well... I saw the Hooters outfit and I thought it was fabulous. You're not going to see many children of that age doing something like that and I thought it was really good. 
I wouldn't necessarily put my four-year-old in it, but that's her mom's preference and their way, so we'll just leave it at that. And after the final performance rounds, it's now down to the judges. We had a little bit of hiccup with Scarlett's um, beauty wear, but Edith, she pulled it together at the end of the day, like she always does, so we'll just see where she comes. Scarlett takes the stage with her age category. But has Scarlett's Hooters performance won the judges over and secured her the ultimate grand supreme crown? Crown. <laughs> that means you haven't won, basically. Our princess is Miss Sophia. It's a consolation prize for Scarlett and no grand title. Leanne can't hide her disappointment. There's a stone missing. Most beautiful. Mum. Wow. Goes to Miss Connie. Lovely. Up next is six-year-old Bessie. I'm not hoping for too much, to be honest now. <laughs> Bit deflated. Third And when she wins her age category, Scarlett has regrets. You should have got up, shouldn't you? Neither Bessie or Scarlett get picked for the ultimate Grand Supreme. Scarlett played up a little bit today, to be honest. But Bessie done really well, so really happy. Is it all been worth it? Definitely, and we'll be back again soon. It's the grand opening of dressmaker Marie Fullerton's brand new boutique in Birkenhead. Just getting all the pinata filled, we've put some bling in, we've put all little sparkles in, princesses. I thought, you know, OK, I'm going to open a shop, but if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. Um, we're just going to open it with a bang, lots of bling everywhere, lots of frillies. We just thought we'd put on a little special thing on, you know, to, to welcome everybody into the shop. And Sammy's made the 200-mile round trip for the opening with baby Hallie Mae. Yay! Oh, look at you. Oh, you just look beautiful. Hi, right. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, look at you. Yeah, nice to meet you too, the baby. Look at you, the princess. It's an opportunity for the guests to go mad for Marie's dresses. I want that one right there. Where's the That pink one. Yeah, obviously I spent double the right, double it, yeah. Oh my God, girl. I'm glad you were here on, on this day. Oh, you know, thank the you. Day. <laughs> oh, no, I mean that genuinely, honey. She looks exactly how I expected her to be. She's dressed perfectly. And I know what you like, Sammy. It's every day. <laughs> I've seen all your pictures. I know. She's dressed to perfection every day. Everybody loves to, to, to have all of the little girls dressed up and what have you. But you've had her like this since she was born. She's used to it. That's why she don't get irritated. She's happy At now. all. Because she's just used no. to it. The trip wouldn't be worthwhile for Sammy if she didn't put down a deposit on a big dress. Go with the wind dress. Yeah. Are we going for the side, Bev? Uh, side, yeah. Yeah. Either side. Are we going... Maybe a bit of bling on top, but really, Sammy doesn't need it. Uh, I'd rather have it plain, because the dress does all the talking on its own. It does. It, 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 it genuinely does. Yeah. Oh, Sammy, it's been so amazing to meet you. It's been amazing to meet you, finally, it's after all this time. <laughs> My dream came true today. Fairy Tale Boutique is my dream, and I couldn't have wanted anything better. You know what? Cheers. Cheers to Fairy Tale. Whether it's frills, sparkles, spray tans, or makeup,
the business of blinging up your babies is booming. But as most mums know, whatever your reasons. You only get to give birth to a daughter once and one time only. I don't know, maybe I just want to feel like a triplet. <laughs> However hard you try. When they're up on the stage and I see them up there, it is addictive. And if for some reason tomorrow we had to give it all up, I would be disappointed. You can only bling up your kids for so long. When she's old enough to say to me that she doesn't want to wear it, then that's her choice. But until she can't, I will get away with it as long as I can. Because in four years' time, she might say, I don't like dresses. And that's my pretty girl gone. Can't help how they are, can you?